So I'm a fellow at the Linux Foundation now. I get to focus on my community work full time. And as far as the community work, I do a lot of stuff in the kernel. Linux kernel, I um, release the stable kernel releases. So Linus does the development releases and then I take all the patches and bug fixes for the next two, three months and release stable kernel releases every other week or so. And we also maintain a long-term kernel release, which we pick one a year that's going to last for two years. So I do those releases as well. So I do that. That's focusing on the stable releases. But I'm also a maintainer and a developer of the upstream kernel. I maintain the driver core, USB, um, some bits of other little bits and pieces here and there, TTY layer, serial layer, and then the staging tree, which is the Linux driver project. It's all the really experimental, not necessarily ready for prime time drivers that we clean up in the kernel and get involved and get and do that work. There's a lot of churn and a lot of development going on there. So I maintain those, accepting patches, reviewing them, applying them, and then now I'll also have some time to work on some new projects, do some development on my own as well. So being a maintainer is a lot of email. <laughs> you read email, you see the patches that people send you, you review them, you critique them and say what's right, what's wrong, uh, or you don't necessarily say what's right, you say what's wrong, it's easier. And then if it's good, you accept it and you apply it to your tree and you apply it to the Linux next tree and then you handle the merge conflicts that happen every day. So it's babysitting that, making sure everything still works and builds and testing it, of course. Make sure if you can test it, a lot of hardware we don't have and we trust the developers that they've tested it, as long as it doesn't break other things. Uh, so it's a lot of maintenance, a lot of um, email and a lot of churn that way. Um, so yeah, my children joke that I just sit in my pajamas reading email all day, and that's true. I do a lot of email. <laughs> I think it's great. It's really nice to see all the different companies and developers that develop Android systems and rely on the ecosystem together, coming together, talking about common problems, finding solutions to it. The presentations have been really, really good, and it's um, really, really interesting to see and really nice to, it's very well, it's a very good conference. Well, first off, the companies cannot hire enough Linux kernel developers right now. There's lots and lots of jobs, especially with the popularity of Android, and Linux is everywhere, embedded, enterprise, clusters everywhere. So there's a lot, a lot of jobs out there. So it's really easy to get involved in the kernel. Um, I talked about the driver project. There's, lot, there's drivers in the kernel that need cleaned up, need to be maintained and changed. And there's to-do files on how to do that, what needs to be changed. Send those patches, send those things, get involved that way. I know a number of developers that start off that way, just doing spelling fixes, little tiny fixes. They learn the process of how to set things up, how to send a patch, how to get it reviewed and see the acceptance and do that on your own. A lot of students do that on their own and then when they come out of college they have experience. And having open source experience is really, really valuable for getting hired. On a resume you can see what projects you've worked on in school or what other projects, but if you're a member of the community, that employer can go and look at the community and say, hey, I see that they can write code. I see they can interact with other people and they're sane. So it's a good thing that you know how to work with a team, you know how to know how to integrate with a community and that shows to a potential employer that you're really valuable, you're a very good person and anybody that shows that has gotten hired almost instantly. <laughs>